is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Cake Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Hey, Rock and Beer viewers. Welcome to actually the last of my SG Pour um, reviews. This is the last beer. Not that, not that you needed to know that, but I don't know. For the for the sake of this video, this is uh, I'm letting you know. <laughs> so on to the beer. This was kindly provided by 88S55K89Q, and this says I'm going to try and say Sharana, Sharana Session Alt Beer. That is, and it's got this, look at that, look at that cool little frog on there. Yeah, there you go. Look at that, he's a cute little guy, isn't he? Uh, I have no idea what, um, if that signifies anything, but that's a, that's a cool little, I like that little frog guy. I like him, I like him a lot. I really like him. So, Sharana Session Alt Beer, so we've got a German, German ale. Uh, there's a lot of information on here, why don't we take a look. We've got water, soft, soft from mountain springs flowing on slate soil. Wow, detailed. Uh, bottling date June 3rd, 2016. Uh, hops, uh, we've got Northern Brewer for bittering, which it's bittered to 45 IBU. Aroma, we've got Hallertau middle fruit. So traditional, very traditional uh, hops. Malts, we got 25% Maris Otter, 25% Vienna, 35% Pills, 10% Pale, 4% Cara Crystal, 1% Carafa Special 2. So I guess this is going to have a bit of an amber color to it. Single Mash, OG 1040, Final Gravity 1012, ABV 4.5% Yeast. Y yeast 1007 German ale fermented at 14 degrees C. Drink cheerfully unless pregnant or underaged. Wow, that is a lot of information. Thank you so much for um, for all that. That's that's a lot to fit on there, and it and it's it's actually quite nicely laid out. So um, yeah, cool alt beer. The camera I can see the battery just flipped to I'm dying. So uh, before I open that, I'm gonna change the battery real quick. Be right back. All right, guys. Sorry about that little uh, jump cut and that perspective shift. I'm sure. Um, all right, I have. I've actually. I just cracked the beer, and it is. It is coming. It's coming for me. So I'm gonna. There is a big hiss, and it is. You can see it's starting to starting to flow out of the. Woo. <laughs> all right. Oh, there was a. There was a something in there. Hang on. Let's get this poured out. Something just came out with that foam down there. Come on, I, I see some. I see some. I see some dealies coming, so I'm gonna cut it there. What is that? That is. Uh, that is a bit of. Oh, it's a bit of hop. I think it's a bit of hop. It's a little bit of leaf hop, I think. Yeah. Well. Go ahead and wipe that off to the side. All right, let's check this out. Yep, it has, it's that amber color that I was expecting with a little bit of, it's cool that the recipe's on here. It's also, I was gonna mention it earlier, it's interesting that it's 25% Maris Otter. It's um, not, a, not your standard German ale ingredient, but yeah, very cool. Very cool for that information. Back to the beer. So it looks really dark on the camera. I'm sorry, I'm, Filming after work and the light's not the best uh, right right now, but it it isn't it isn't as dark as it looks on the camera. It's uh, it's a it's a brick red. It's a um, a brick brick red. I'm gonna do double brick. It's a double brick. Uh, so a slightly darker red reddish color, copper color, deep copper, deep brick copper. 
That's what I'm gonna go with there. Really nice, big, fluffy, slightly off-white head, but uh, big bubbles. I'm guessing that it's, um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yeast in the bottom and stuff, so I'm guessing it's bottle conditions. And it, it had a had a nice little rush there, you saw. Tons of bubbles uh, coming up off the sides, but. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm hmm yeah, as if, as if you know what I, exactly what I should be expecting. I know exactly what I should be expecting. Uh, it's got that, um, it's got a, it's got a very malty nose, it's a malt, malt driven type beer. Definitely, definitely get some of that, a little bit of that darker crystal. Right off the bat, some, um, some slight kind of toffee tones, not like, not sweet toffee, but the, the kind you get with darker crystal malt. Lots of bread in the background and then kind of a, kind of a fresh grassy type uh, noble hop smell. Not, not, not very much hops, but a little bit. Yeah, very, very classic kind of amber beer lager. I wanted to say lager because, um, well, because it's a it's a German beer, but it's it's actually an ale, so it's not a lager. But yeah, little little sweetness, little little hops on the on the nose. Very nice. Actually, um, Actually, a much more delicate kind of light body than I was expecting for finished off at 10, 12. So I expected there to be a little bit more of a chew to it with some with some crystal in it. But it's actually a nice, nice, delicate, light um, body, which, yeah, alt beer. So that's totally fine. Definitely a lot of like um, a little bit more of that German hop, that um, that distinct kind of grassy German hop flavor in the in the taste, but uh, definitely malt-driven uh, beer. Nice, really nice, bready, slightly toast-like uh, quality to it. Yeah, a little bit of crystal, not as much, um, not like sweet crystal, but there's that that very very slight toast type type, um, like like extremely pale chocolate or you know darker crystal. Sometimes has a, a little bit of a toastiness to it, like um, like nicely toasted bread. Mm hmm. Yeah. Kind of, kind of just tapers off um, on the end. It's not a. There's not like a very deep, complex flavor to it. It's, a, it's a very familiar kind of. Um, I'm just gonna go with amber lager because that that's what keeps springing to my head. Is um, it has a very, very light body. It's very crisp. Um, it's very clean. Malty, but not too malty. It does. It does have that that kind of um, cold. It's an ale character that's from, from like cold cold fermented ales, but it gives that kind of um, lagerish feel. But it doesn't quite have the the really ultra clean crispness uh, crispness of a, of a truly lagered beer. So it is. It is. It does have that kind of ale type temperament. I'm gonna go with temperament. Uh, but the yeast is really clean. Yeah, nice color. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna let this warm up. I'm gonna do some some notes, and uh, yeah, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back to uh, finish up my review of 88s 55k 89q, the session alt beer. 
Uh, I've been drinking on it here. You can see I'm down to my last few swallows. Uh, carbonation is still super lively in it. A little bit more of that darker malt has popped out a little bit deeper kind of um, toasted caramel type flavor has kind of completely eclipsed the 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 little bit of German hops that might have been in here. So overall, I want to say that this is a, this is a nice beer. It's well made. Um, the uh, the yeast profile is very clean on it. Uh, it's it's highly carbed, but it's not over carbed. It's actually kind of nice for the style because um, 45 IBU it plays really nice with. It's got a really gentle bitterness. Um, I really like Northern Brewer as bittering hop. Kind of got that classic that classic bitterness to it. If that makes any sense at all. Um, I guess my only criticisms are that. Um, not, not, not really criticisms, just, um, I don't know, suggestions? Suggestions is a much better term. Because it's a, it's a perfectly nice, refreshing beer. It's very light. It's actually surprisingly light for the color and the kind of smell slash taste. Because it's a very malty beer, but it also has a very light body. Like, very, very light body. Um, and I almost wish that there was a little bit more body to it. That's, that's one of the things, is that... Um, it's got that multi. It's got that that multi flavor up front that I think um, it kind of dies off uh, to the the flavor isn't that complex, and I think a little more body would kind of support this this kind of maltiness a little bit better. Yeah, definitely a little more body would um, would be appreciated uh, in this beer. Uh, it's still very drinkable. It's still, it's very nice. This is a, um, I've never made an alt beer before, but this is a very, I've had some in the past and this is a nice, um, this is a nice, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, I, the mix of, the mix of base malts is, is actually really interesting to me. I think it's what gives it that, um, that kind of more breadiness and, and toastiness than, than the kind of, um, Pilsner has a very distinct, um, like, really light bread, white bread type flavor, and this is much more of a toasty, more rustic bread flavor. Yeah. I'm, I'm describing bread to you now. The beer is very nice. Um, I, I thank you very much for sharing it with me, 88S55K89Q. And um, cheers, guys. I am, yeah, this is my last review. So I'm going to enjoy my beer. I've really enjoyed the experience. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when uh, things, are, things are back to normal. Cheers.